Hello friends, in today's video we're going to be changing the door mirror on this uh, VW Polo. This particular model is 2003 and the reason why we are changing is that the stem is uh, cracked. So you can see the whole mirror is moving badly. So that's what we're going to replace today. Here's our replacement mirror. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to remove the door casing and also this cover here to get to the d30 screws which are securing the mirror right so in order to remove the door casing we'll have to remove these uh, three screws under the door casing uh, and they are t20 screws one here and one here right so we're gonna remove this uh, cover here to gain access to the D30 screws again we're gonna use uh, this tool here to wedge it in here to pull the trim out right so just gonna pull the trim towards me from the top to gain access inside uh, also there is uh, this trim here which I pulled out this uh, trim is to uh, to route the cable in the right manner right so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna remove this uh, block here this one here the one I'm pointing the finger at so just gonna press the press the clip down side clip like this just gonna press it in and pull the whole connector out there we go okay so that's the connector out of the way right so we'll have to remove two screws from here they are t30 screws so while i'm undoing them i'm gonna hold on to the mirror so that the mirror doesn't drop off so that's the top one out of the way there are two of them to take off there's one under here There we go. So that's the old mirror, the broken one out of the way. Just gonna pull this uh, block, the harness block out. There we go. So that's the old mirror out of the way. And you can see where it's been cracked just here by the stem. There we go. So just taken off the mirror itself. Two connectors here. Two harnesses. The white one is the inner one and the brown one is the outer. There we go. So we have saved the original mirror. Now what we're going to do is uh, just going to break these clips which are securing the cover. So one here. Okay. There we go. That's gonna come off nicely. There we go, friends. So that is the original uh, protective cap which we're gonna use on the new one. So we didn't have to remove the whole uh, casing. What we did is we removed the bottom screws and we pulled the casing towards us from. Uh, just under where the mirror is uh, fitted and uh, that's how we gain the access to the connecting block the harness connector which is round about here so what you do is you just pull the casing towards you and gain the access to the connector here's our new mirror cap 
as I mentioned that it comes in a plastic finish so we don't need this but we can keep it for the future reference if we ever lose the original one okay, so that's out of the way so here comes the mirror here comes the main part it's a light for light part with uh, these two harnesses this is for the heater heated mirror function we're just gonna slide the harness connect the block from it just gonna slide it in like this there we go for that there we go so that's the mirror nicely in place so now we're gonna tighten two screws just gonna screw the top one now just gonna fit the bottom screw Right, here we go friends, now that we have uh, secured the mirror stem to the to the actual door so Now we're going to connect this uh, harness connector in, in here Just going to show you, just here Just going to line it up Just like this Just going to push it in Okay, so that's the connector fully secured gonna turn the ignition on and check the functions of it there we go yeah that's uh, in and out and then we're gonna do the up and down movement on the mirror yeah it's working fine yeah perfect so now we're gonna scale the rest of the components right so we're gonna scale this panel next so we're just gonna bring the cable through here like this and then the panel itself the cover so just gonna push it all the way like that nicely in place So what we're going to do here is we're going to use small cable ties to secure this uh, harness to the plastic uh, routing. Right, so that's what I meant. I guess just going to secure it with the cable ties so that the harness stays inside that uh, that trim routing. There we go. Just going to cut the cable tie. this I'm just gonna slide down the, the actual cable tie just gonna slide it a little bit more that's that nicely done so one cable tie in in here and that's uh, enough to scale the harness itself to the trim here so one more cable tight like this. Just enough to keep the cable in the channel. Right, so just gonna scale the top of the casing into the slot here. And the next thing what we're gonna do is just gonna bang the clips in. So there are two here, one here there. There we go. And then there's a couple here on this side. Right, so now that we have uh, secured the clips on the door case, and we're just gonna secure these three screws. One here. And one 
on this side. That's good enough. Right, here we go friends. Now we're gonna scale the cover itself onto the mirror mechanism. So the way it gets scaled is just like that. There's a, it just clips on. There we go friends, that's the mirror cover. Nicely in place, it's not gonna go anywhere. So here comes the new mirror. Right, so the way mirror gets connected is that the white harness is the inner one, which goes here. And uh, the outer harness is the brown one here. Okay, so that's that gets connected here. So this is for the heated uh, mirror function. Right, so just gonna line up the mirror and just gonna push it all the way in. Here we go. That's the mirror nicely in place. Here we go, friends. Job done. I hope this video is gonna help you replace your mirror on your car